Hey guys, so today I have Diamond Select uh, Dark Phoenix. And honestly, this is a hit. I think this is a home run. It's A1. Um, really pros and one or two cons on it. So I'll start with the pros. Um, the anatomy. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, it's very realistic it's very believable um nothing about it seems exaggerated um I'm trying to get an idea there so very very good anatomy um and they don't really do bad um but this is really good um second is the paint application uh it's done very well very clean lines and you know for the most part it's easy because these parts are you know th these come in pieces they paint the pieces put them on but even you know here um where they have to paint that on there it's done it's very clean very clean lines um, I mean the sculpt in general um, it's very good sculpt you can see the the tension pulls and the fabric there um, you can see that there we have them in the armpit here in the groin region um, on the back side um, just really good. I mean, the outfit, it's, everything about it is good. Uh, very good. The base is the Phoenix Force. Um, it is translucent. The base, it's a, it's a miss here. That's, that is hollow. So, you know, am I surprised they didn't put a light in there? No, it's, you know, $45 piece, so... You can dremel that out and run a wire in there and you will get a very nice effect from that if you were to light that up. Um, but she is bursting from the Phoenix Force and it is great. Um, her face is done very well. I, th I feel it is. It's very close to the promotional artwork. It's not 100% there. But it's close. Um, and most of that is the eyes. Um, and so for some cons, I do feel that the hair is a bit bulky. Um, very blocky. Um, she is soaring up. So, you know, you do get that effect that it is it is blowing. It's it's lush. Um, so you can argue that, that, that it is lush and full. Um, but I do feel it is a bit blocky. Um, she does lean a little to the left, but it's not bad. Um, so, you know, overall, it's really a solid piece. Um, and the one last con is the scaling. Um, Marvel pieces do run a bit bigger than the DC pieces, but she scales very well with Supergirl here very well she scales almost perfect um, but then she also scales relatively well with Emma Frost if she was to stand up straight you would see that and she does pair well with Storm lift her off the ground a little bit so the scaling is a bit of an inconsistency for me maybe that's just me you may not find it an issue and it really is not an issue but it, you know but overall man um this is a win this is a solid win i will recommend this all day every day um and i will post some some good pictures in there for you so that's a win.